Welcome to more fun guys. Please enjoy this video. Hey ladies and gents, this is Scorpion here and right now um, I'm leaving the reptile tank off because they gotta turn off the power about 8 o'clock and they are right at the front already far out all the time anyway 7.29 they said 8 o'clock why are they at the front early? What the living shit is this bullshit? Uh, far out. So right now I gotta get ready for archery for now. And yeah, I'm sorry I don't have any light, but yeah. Um oh, that's better. So right now, um I gotta get myself ready for archery. And I'll see you guys over there. Till then, if the power goes off from everywhere, well, do the outdoor shooting. But I'm going to shoot the pig, the deer, and the... No, just like the big animals for now, so I'll see you guys over at Archery till then. Um, it is now 7.30 right now. It was 7.28, but... I forgot to read it, but yeah. So right now, I'll see you guys over the archery anyway. All right, ladies and gents. I am at archery right now. Um, the reason why I came to archery early is they're gonna shut the power off earlier. Like, I didn't know about 7.50 they shut it down. And yeah. It's really fucking weird. They came early. All electrical trucks. Even the power the power pole and the power line too. They came early. And on the paperwork, they said that it, it said they all come at eight o'clock. Nah, they came really early. A lot more early. They came about 7.30 when I was um, finishing getting my gear and we got kangaroos. There's one near the table right there. Oh, that's a buck. Okay. Okay, that's a buck. Don't want to go near him. And he looks like he's a young one too. But where's the big one? Because the last time what well, we seen the big one, he crawled all the way to the power poles and bounced off up the hill. But I haven't seen him this morning, so... Oh, he is. <laughs> yep, that's the male. He's standing up. Yeah, he's got all these females at the back too. So he's the boy. There's more kangaroos coming up too. Uh, I don't want to mark around with him. Well, he's not the bigger one what we saw. So, well, the last one we just saw the big male. He was much larger than the lily males. He was the younger male, but he's the younger male. Yeah, he's the young male. He's non-threatening. The big male, he walked and he was this tall when he was crawling on his front, like on his front legs and back legs. And his back was past the wire. And he crawled all the way and bounced off up to the hill. So he must have bounced off. But holy shit, he was a heavy boy. Literally. Not really surprising. So right now, um, the, uh, 
Alright, it's... Thursday the... 18th. Okay. Of... July. Alright. The only thing I'm doing is do archery for the morning. So they can do the power lines and fuck off. Excuse the bad French, but yeah, they block my street. We can't even get out or go shopping. They block both ends. So that's why I go out really early. So yeah. So right now let's get these flags up is even my grandma bid showing now so yeah here's the young buck here's the young buck so he's not he's not threatening even there's a baby and mama near the tree right there I'm not bothering you big boy you ain't a youngster. He's only a young boy. The big one, uh, the big boy, what we saw last time, he was older and more taller boy, about seven, eight, about seven foot eight inches. That's the terrifying bit. Kangaroo's about that big, it will kill you. Well, actually, I'm not really happy about it. <laughs> Kangaroo's about that big. Oh, I am not going near. So, yeah. But, yeah, the power will be off soon, so I'll be shooting outdoors where there's proper light. So, I won't be shooting blind. I really hate shooting in the darkness. I'd rather shoot in the light. So when I get my own place, I can shoot wild pigs and drop the numbers. Because wild pigs today, they are feral. So, not doing good. Look at this. All the kangaroos is going behind the mail. There's Mama and Joey right over there. That's very good. So, I'll see you guys on the field till then. I'll see you guys on the field with the 30 meter target and the pig. So, I'll see you guys on there anyway. Okay, I've got kangaroos around me. There's some over here. And there's a whole lot, if you can see it for the sunlight. There we go. All over there. And over there. So, kangaroos are right around me right now. So, right now, I got the pig right there. And I'm going to put a balloon on it right away. So, yeah, the sun's really mucking up the whole camera today. It's actually making it not focused. So let me put a balloon on it and yeah, it'll be absolutely great. It is right now. Um, I'm just here because the electricity at the house is being turned off so that's why I come here so right now um, I'm at archery I've got to put a blue balloon up
Plus, it is a clear blue day. It is a clear blue day for shooting. Right now, I got a dark blue balloon on the pig and a pink balloon on the target. So, I'm going to try shooting the pig about 20 meters. Hopefully, I don't do that bad. So, yeah, I gotta take my jacket off because it's starting to make me itchy. Now, it's only got one more month of winter left, and then it's back to spring. So, hopefully, spring's more warmer. I really hate the cold, never like winter. I like spring more than winter, and I like summer than autumn, so. But yeah, scientists I think the Earth's going to change. Bullshit. It's not. Why do we see dragons, werewolves, witches, goblins, and gargoyles for? Well, it's going back to the 16th century where it all began. So it's gone backwards. So if we see dragons fly around, well, you know why. Scientists are wrong. So right now, I'm gonna try shoot the pig about, what is that, 25 meters? Not 20 meters, all right. So hopefully the power guys fix up the power pole really quick. Because right now, they started about 7.30 in the morning. That's, that is actually ridiculous. So, yeah, it's not really funny. They started about 7.30. They are supposed to start about 8 o'clock to pull the old power lines and the old power pole out and put the new ones in. So if they started about 7.30, that's not right. They lied through their friggin' teeth. So right now, I want to try shoot the pig first. Because it's my first time going to shoot outside with the pig. <laughs> so, hopefully I do really good. So right now, I'm going to use the blue and white with the green knocks. Hopefully I do really good. So, wish me luck of Get in the pig. Right here. Right here. Pig distance twain. Sun's too bright, but it's actually lovely. All right, second arrow. In three, two, one. That went in the grass. Two. All right. Shoulder. 
One more. So what you see there, I shot the pig quite good into the chest area. So it's a little bit more there, but yeah, sorry about the sunlight. Because the sunlight's really bugging the whole camera. There we go. One of the, one of the arrows went underneath, so I need to find that. So right now, hopefully the sun goes up a little bit so it doesn't bug the camera. So let me let me find these arrows and get back to you guys. So, yeah, I shot the pig quite good. I shot it just in the chest area on the side. This is the shoulder. I shot around the whole heart. Not even killing it. Because if you shoot around the whole heart, the pig doesn't die. It charges out, yeah, you're, you're dead. Um, my friend Isaac, he's been doing boar hunting with his friends up out of Bathurst and the boars are really feral around this place anyway. So right now, um, so yeah, sunlight is starting to go up now, so right now, let's, oh my freaking god. The sun is actually really buggy today. So let's do some shooting. Is some more shooting on the pig than the target? All right, yeah. So we can actually do a lot of target practice. All right, the pig, 20 meters. That's the chest area, not the kill spot. That's the kill spot, not the heart.
Lost two arrows. Got it. Got a kill spot. And I know the sun's bugging the whole camera. It actually sucks. But finally got the pig. Let me zoom in for you guys. I shot the balloon. So that's pretty good to me. Oh, that's beautiful. So let me put you guys back a bit so you, you guys are away from the sunlight. The sunlight is really buggy today. So yeah, I shot the pig. Now I need to shoot the balloon. So right now, let me get these arrows and yeah. Oh well, I shot the pig. That was absolutely freaking good. I shot the pig in the kill spot. So that's a good thing. Is when I get my own place, I want to cut down how many feral pigs I can count worth killing. Because the feral pigs around here and around Australia, they are killing people's crops. They are not native to Australia anyway. So, yeah, but right now, um, uh, I'm going to use the color arrows for the pig. So, not for the target. Because the color arrows, it's actually weighing my um, bow bag down, so not good news. So right now, I am going to have a drink break, and I'll see you guys when I'm done with the drink. And drink. All right, ladies and gents, it is pretty beautiful. Have a look at this. These old kangaroos, all these kangaroos around me, even up there, they are not scaring me because I'm not even a threat to them. They are not a threat to me, so I don't know what is the problem. Because all these ones I went near, they didn't even bother bouncing away. These ones I know was, they stay with the big buck here you can actually see on top of the man. Well, on the hill. Right there, there's the buck. So, that is not bad. So right now, plus I put another balloon on the pig. I put a bubble green, a bubble gum green on the pig. 
But right now, let's shoot the target. Alright, yeah. This is gonna be absolutely fun. Now, the reason why I'm shooting right now is because I am literally bored. Because they cut off the power right now from the power station, so I got no power at all. So, that's the problem. So, right now, I am going to shoot target, but with the blue and white. And, yeah. I'm actually going to practice. Alright, or shoot with the colored. I'm going to do that. Alright, yeah. So, the reason why the big buck kangaroos attack on people, they are in his territory. So I'm not bothering him, he's not bothering me, so I don't know what is the problem. Is he just t territorial, kind of, why? So right now, I'm going to shoot with the colored arrows this time, on the target. Three year, old, a three year old baby going to mama. So that's not a problem. I'm not gonna bother them. All these ones over this side, they're only joeys. Not females. These are only joeys. So, yeah, not bad. I'm, I'm being surrounded by nature. This is absolutely beautiful. So the sun is, actually came out. So it's going to be sunny today. That's actually good because um, if it's sunny today, I can actually concentrate on my work. Right here, the scorebook. Um, Alright, today is the 18th, so I'm going to mark it down. 18th of the 7th, 24. Oh, I'm so happy right now. So right now, let's shoot the target and get a high score. That's a nine. That's literally a nine. That's good. This is only a practice shot, not the real round.
<laughs> I popped the balloon with the fifth arrow. Far out. Okay. But that's, that's only a practice round. Practice rounds, you get warmed up, you get, you get ready to just feel energy coming to you. And right now, I feel like that. I don't feel like to stay at home and I'm not collecting energy. I get my energy from the, from the bush. And this is all bushland. This whole archery field is right. Yeah, I'm gonna put a pink balloon on the. Yeah, well, it is another pink balloon on top of the main target, but that was only a practice shot. Well, I can say I burnt the balloon with these arrows. So that's one friggin' balloon straight away. So that is one balloon in a balloon count. If I... Alright. Balloon count one. Alright. Now let's start the points. Get that 250. So hopefully I get the 250 today. No, I don't need all three red arrows. I need just three red, three blue. So I'm gonna take one. So I shot all seven colored. All four reds and three blues. So that was one balloon down. So I shot that one with a perfect sight and a perfect height. So yeah, I'm not gonna shoot indoors because the power went off. They turned the whole power off from the main power station 
next to the town. So, nothing's working right now. Royo, round one. That's eight. That's perfect. That's nine. That's perfect. That's a nine. That's a seven. What the fuck was that? Hold up, this ain't wrong. That arrow went sideways, and I don't know why. Wow! Ah. Guess what I just saw, ladies and gents? Black cockatoos behind the building, before, behind you guys? Black cockatoos. Wow. I'm gonna switch the blue arrow because one of the flights are torn. It's the blue flight on the left, so not good. So I'm going to restart that shot because that was not good at all. So let's restart that. So anyway. That's eight. That's good. That's eight. <laughs> Got one gold, a whole lot of reds. So this is a really good morning for me. So I'm going to collect the arrows and count the points so let me do that
Okay, guys, I got three double digits. I got seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Got double digits today, so yeah. So right now, let's shoot round two. That was absolutely freaking perfect. Seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. How the hell I got that? Right, yeah. Let's start round two. So yeah, shooting the foam pig is training you how to shoot feral animals. Not native, feral, from different countries. I'm in Australia, I shoot feral animals like feral pigs, cats, dogs, anything from different countries. Not native animals like the kangaroos, emus, or dingoes, or koalas. I don't shoot them. If I did, I got a big heavy fine for that. But kangaroos, they are my favorite animal to take photos of and sit and relax with. Because I'm a hippie, it's all good. So let's start with round two. Seven. That's not bad. Nine. Last arrow. Five. All right, got a five and six. I'm going to count the points and I'll be right back. I'll count the points for you guys.
So, yeah, I got five, six, seven, eight, double nine. Still got a high number. But double digits on the first row, like seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. Freaking thumbs up. Right here, round three. Let's break. And then let's shoot the pig after the break. Then go back to the round four, round five. So, yeah, what I'm doing is doing a big telegraph to shoot where the pig is. Where I shoot, I write it down in the book. So, wherever I shoot, wherever part I shoot on the pig, I write it down in the book and count how many points that it can kill the pig in minutes. So, round three, then break. Seven. I got three sevens, two nines. Far out. Right. That's a five. Okay. Wait, let me. Restart that last shot because that last shot went up. So let me get that last arrow. Alright, I had a look up the arrows. I had a look up the arrows. No three sevens. I got five, six, seven, seven. Alright. Oh, I cut myself. Eh, oh, well, that's already healed. So I got a five, a six, seven, seven, eight, ten. 
Well, that's still not bad. That is not bad at all. So, I might get a big number out of that. Alright, let me get the arrows. So, yeah, I'm actually happy about the points, but yeah, but right now I'm going to have a break, I'm going to change the battery and I'll see you guys when it's time to shoot the pigs, so stay, stay tuned for that. Alright ladies and gents, it is time to shoot the pig. So right now, so I put the colored arrows down. Because I think I've done really good. All those are big numbers, no small numbers at all. So hopefully, I get the 250 today. I hope. Well, it's more better than yesterday. So, yesterday, I got 51, 42, 38, 40, and 42. So, <laughs> that's not bad. So right now, let's do shooting the pig. And then back to scoring. So I want to do pig shooting so I can actually shoot wild pigs on my own property and stuff. So, let's do it. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this?
That is quite cool. Okay. While I was shooting, the kangaroos actually came close to the pig. <laughs> wow. So let me get the arrows. That was freaking cool. It's it's the little jellies on my right. L let me show you guys. It's those four. They came close to the target. The target about just there. And when I shot, they moved back over that way. So they was curious about the wild pig. So that is quite cool. They hate the wild pig. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the arrows and I'll be right back. Yeah, they going. They going crossy. That was so freaking cool. I absolutely loved it. Freaking cool. All right, back to the scoring, and then let's count. Let's count the points. And then, I don't know, spend time with the kangaroos. Because there's gotta be no power at the house. Um, so yeah, just absolutely no power, uh, power at all. They change in the power lines, they change in the power pole. And yeah, it's a pain in the ass situation. I'm in a spot where you can't get your car out because they block both entrance. And that's the way I feel. It's a it's a pain in the ass. But that was cool. The kangaroos actually went to the foam pig and then backed off when I shot. I'm I'm no harm to the kangaroos. I love kangaroos. I, I love my native animals. They are absolutely beautiful. And even they were over there now. Well, I love my native, native animals. Absolutely lovely. Right here. Round four and round five. Let's go. That's a nine. That's good. That's straight up. That's good. That's a seven eight. It hit the line. That's a five.
Got to pause. Got to go All right, I want to restart those two shots that was on the fives. So I want to restart those two shots because the flights are a little bit crooked and it's bending. Not right. It's supposed to be straight. So I'm going to fix them up when I get home. But with that electricity, I can't even turn on the hot water. So it's got to be a fucking pain in the ass when I get home. Alright, I saw the target where I hit, I got one seven, three nines. Fucking beautiful. Now, I, uh, I got the two shots in the fives, so I'm going to get these two shots done. That's a nine. That's good. That's an eight. Hey! Finally got my final two points. Told you, the flights are a little bit bendy and they go straight down. But if I point a little bit more up, I'll get to the cell eight. So, yeah. It's actually beautiful here. Right here. If they finish early, I'll get home safely. Hopefully. Oh, the kangaroos are gone.
Alright, I got three sevens, three nines, so two triple digits. So that's not bad. Then, after we finish the last score, let's shoot the pig a little bit more. Because I don't know how I gotta get home if they gotta block the street again. I really don't know how. Alright. Last round, then shoot the pig. I wasn't ready. I shot too quick. It is a pretty sunny day today. It is really good to feel the sunlight. So right now, let's start round five. I don't think I'm gonna get home that easily. They gotta block the both ends of the street. How I gotta get home? Right here, round five. Seven again. Nine. Last one. Nine. This bow is freaking awesome. Let me count the points and well I might draw the pig. Um alright the red's back.
All right. I sketched the pig on the book. I'm going to use this as a calculation of the um, shots I do. So, where I shoot on the pig, pig's heart is in the front leg, like on the shoulder. So, like that. So, rib cages. Right, yo. Go to get my arrows and count the points. So, hold on. Alright, got the two odd arrows. I'm gonna start with one and then shoot the other to get the scores. These ones keep going like that. Alright, uh, I need to put my glove on. This is what happens my arrows get wrecked, their flights point to different directions. Oh boy, hell. I got stomach burning. Ah, uh, far out. Right, yeah. That's better. Don't know why they went like. They went like that and then went down like that. Don't know why. That's better. Now I can mark down the points without the old arrows with the bent fucking flights. Fuck.
Right here. It's got the points. It's got a double seven, triple nine, and a ten. Finally, I fixed up the last two arrows. Because they keep going straight, then go all the way down. Because I'm point straight, I point straight. But somehow they went like that and just, nah, does not seem right. So right now, 18, 9, 20, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 48 for the start. Okay, 9, 18, 19, 20. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 44. That's much better. Because wherever my arrows are flying for the air, and not as the same doesn't seem right, you have to keep on your arrow when it goes straight. If it points down straight away, you get a bent flight. So you have to point up a little bit more. So right now, uh, 10, 18, 19, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 43. That's good. Uh, 9, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Ah, yeah, fucking. Alright, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 43, 47, 48. Wait. <sighs> ah, freaking hell. Ha, ah, fucking hell. I hate the fucking calculator. Sometimes numbers are really tricky to calculate. What is it? Why is my sister sending me videos anyway? Alright, calculator. Uh, seven, seven, seven. Nine, nine, nine. Forty-eight. That's all I need. Let's sip. Ah, 48. That's good. Alright, 10, 19, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Oh, friggin' yes! Ah, oh, friggin' hell, you're counting the points is a really pain in the ass. Right, yo. Now calculating the <laughs> Why? I need to count without the calculator. Uh, my brain's not working properly. Um, why does my sister keep sending me friggin' videos that I already saw? It's a pain in the ass. All right, start with the lowest number. Well, oh, lowest numbers. Forty-three plus forty-four. 
plus 48 plus 48 plus 51. 234. Ah! Too, cl too close. 234. About. Ah! Uh, about six more points, I get 240. Ah! 234. Oh, come on. I'm trying my hardest to get 250 that I haven't got. 232. Wait, 234, I mean, fuck. 234. Alright. 234. Now, let's shoot the pig. Alright. Um. Oh my freaking god, I need to take this target inside or shoot. Yeah. Oh well. So, right now, my big bro will be coming over soon. I'm not really impressed because of the past, what he has done, but he's changed. That's what my mum and dad told me. He changed. So, he's got his daughter, Carissa, that's my niece, fully time now because her mother's been a crazy nutcase that treats my niece really bad. So, my big brother will be coming down soon. I'm, I'm not really surprised. I have not seen him for that many years. Literally. I'm not really surprised about it but I have to admit he changed I have to believe my mum and dad so right now let's shoot the pig calculate where I shot the pig this is called pig shooting so if I hit the pig in the heart about a couple of times well I got the perfect shots so let's do it all right Pig shooting. All right. <laughs> Straight through the heart. Hi again. Okay. Hot. Okay. Next. Ribs. Ribs. Okay. Got calculated where I shot. And those are perfect. So Right now, go right down. All right, heart. Uh, 
ribs, neck, head, and spine. All right. Even legs, I need to watch where I shoot. Right, yeah, let me count, uh, count these points. Right here, ladies and gents. I calculate the points. I shot the pig in the heart twice, ribs four times, and the neck once. So, not that bad. The, the ball will be dead if I shot it in the heart twice in one day. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Whew. And another balloon popped. So that's two balloons in one day. Well, that is actually the pig's heart anyway. But I caught the heart. So. Where the fuck is the. Oh, right. Things I do for fun is just good. So that's two balloons for today. 234 points. So let me have a look. Yeah, underneath the 241. So 234. Fantastic. That's good. So right now, I'm not going to shoot another balloon on the pig. 
Or do I? I want to do different shots. Anyway, um, another pink. All right, let's. Okay, I'm gonna have a little drink break and then we'll shoot the pig again, but more accurate. Okay, I had my drink break and my burn in my stomach still burning my stomach, like the burn in my stomach still burning. I don't know why I ate, but it does not feel very good so. Yeah, but I'll still shoot. Right, yeah, let's shoot the pigs again. Right, yo, pig rounds. Test again. Head. Ah. All right, I hit the chest about a couple of times. That's the ball of the pig. And I hit the head once, so uh, chest. Ribs, about three more times, or four, and head, the heart once again popped.
So that's another falling down. Right, yeah, I think that will be it for now. Gonna mark it down on a telegraph. Alright. Heart. Legs. Head. Ribs. Spine. Rump. And stomach. So that will be it for the pig. I think I've done a great number on the balloons. I got about three. Uh, I might shoot that one on the big target. But if I do, let's finish. <laughs> because I got I got a whole lot of things to do today. But when the power's off, I got not that much. So it actually sucks. So let me get these balloons. Now let me get these arrows. And yeah. So, yeah, the reason why I do archery it for the weeks is because I'm bored. Got not that much to do. Um, my mum and dad and my sister that has the mental health. My sister has the mental health. My dad doesn't, my mum doesn't, but my sister does. All three of them try to work in the coffee van, but when they get enough work done, They'll invite me into the coffee van and I'll cook burgers and chips. Or just burgers. And that's it. So right now, let's shoot this damn balloon on this big target and then let's end it from here because I got things to do and if I can't get home because both ends of the street is blocked, well I need to find something else to do. So, <laughs> yeah, fun. So I'm gonna put the pack of the balloons away. Both of them. Alright. Right yeah. Time to shoot this damn balloon. And then let's pack it up. I think I'd shot the pig quite good. I shot the heart three times. With and without the balloon. Uh, 
Um, I shot the neck once, shot the head once, shot the chest twice, and shot the ribs about about eight times. So yeah, pretty funky. <laughs> but yeah, but literally I have a lot of fun here, but when I move to my own place, I'm going to miss this place completely. This place is so natural right here. It is so natural. And I love it. Literally. So right now, let's um, shoot the damn balloon. Right up. Round one. Arrow four. Ah, fucking hell. Arrow five. Arrow six. Arrow seven. Arrow eight. Arrow nine. Arrow eleven. Arrow twelve. Arrow 13, last one. So, yeah, did not even get the ball in, but I done pretty good. And I did pretty fine. So right now, I'm gonna pack up. It's time to get home anyway, because uh, wearing myself out is a lot more better than sitting at home and do shit. Because right now. Um, the power's shut off, I can't do anything. Um, helping my dad 
when I get home if I can get to my driveway without blocking the um, you know, without blocking the both pathways. I hope they are finished. I hope. So right now, let me get these arrows and pack these things away and I'll see you guys in the car. Right here ladies and gents, I am finished off for the morning at Archery. Um, yeah, but right now is now 10.24 in the morning. Hopefully they finish putting the new power pole up and new power cords and actually finishing up from there. So, yeah. But right now, I am going to go straight at home. Hopefully they are finished right now. And finishing up. And, yeah, the reason why I came here is no power, can't do anything. So I'll see you guys back at the Dragon's Den till then. I'll see you guys back there and let's find something to do and help out the f whole family. So I'll see you guys back there. All right, I am back at home and the guys doing the power lines, they are nearly finished. So that's not bad. They doing it nice and early. They finish up early. So right now, I'm only looking at the book what I've done today. Yeah, 234, that's not bad. So, have a look at this. 234. Got a whole lot. A couple of the arrows on the start of the shooting was wrong beers. When I shoot straight, two of them went like that. So, I don't know why. But on the end, I got 234. So, almost 240 like last time about on the 8th 241 or 220 but it's past 220 it's 234 so almost to 241 and on the pig I actually shot the heart about three times uh, to there the ribs, that is the lines, I got about, about eight times. I shot the neck, about right there. Uh, I shot once, shot the head once, uh, no spine, no legs, but I shot the chest twice so that's not bad but no spine no legs except I got the heart ribs neck head and chest not bad at all so yeah until the power comes back on it's been sunny all morning it's been absolutely clear blue skies. I had nature around me all through the morning. So, yeah. But right now, it is now eight minutes past 11. And that is not bad because it's still morning. Uh, I love the sunlight. It actually warms my whole back. It's just absolutely beautiful. So, being at archery early, no one showed up. Um, but I put the flags out to let people know I'm here. Because if you don't put the flags up, they will report you. So, I put the flags up. But I could not turn the lights on. That's the problem. Um, when they shut the power down, everything went down, so, yeah, couldn't turn the power on. 
So that was one thing really not good. So I left the power off and just shot outside. Now spring is coming up after the next month. Next month is the last month of winter. When spring comes up on the 4th, that is on Wednesday, night shooting will be coming back on again. So that is, will be uh, absolutely good and absolutely awesome anyway. So right now I'm going to drink my coffee while I go on the bench. It is my second coffee for the today. But yeah, today is absolutely freaking beautiful. The sunlight was absolutely freaking warm and bright. Literally, I love it. But now I come back home, the clouds came back, so... Yeah, not surprising. <laughs> so, till I get the power back on, that won't be happening because they're still fixing it. Um, I'll be sitting quiet, so yeah. So right now, I'm going to sit and relax and just be with my dragons. The hell is Chevy? Ah, Chevy's next to Stumpy. Both of them went back to sleep. A couple of days ago, they had a really big feed. Man, the sun's absolutely warm. I love that. So, yeah. But today was absolutely good. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so right now, I am going to relax, drink my coffee, and just try to find something to do. I'm going to help my dad with the coffee workshop and then do all that, so, yeah. But, I'm happy. Uh, till the power comes back on, then uh, I need to find something new to play anyway. So, I'll see you guys later. Oh, well, ladies and gents, I'm sorry I took that long, but the power guys that was fixing the power lines, they took too long to freaking put it up. So, right now, I am actually going to relax now, because I've got nothing else to do. I've been helping my dad with the coffee van and a whole lot more. So that's gonna be absolutely awesome. Plus, there is a lot of things I could you know, I gotta do tomorrow, and yeah, it's gonna be absolutely great. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys loved it. So right now. My boys have their heat mat on. It's been off all day since 7.30 in the morning to 3 p.m. earlier. So they're going to have their heat mat on right now. It's been absolutely freaking cold for them. So one more month of winter and it's going to be back to spring. So... I'm happy with that. So, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, it's been a hell of a day. Had no electricity. We had to um, boil the jug of water for the cup of tea and a cup of coffees. And we had to use the generator, so... Yeah, but... Oh, thank God. So right now, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace for now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, 
Um, no more hot trade till Sunday. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, peace for now. Get over here.